Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I'm continuing my video series on how to play the Pokemon trading card game. I've already talked about how to read a card and Poke Powers and Poke Bodies, and today's video is going to talk about special conditions. Now, in the trading card game, there are five total special conditions that a move can inflict on a defending Pokemon. Um, they are asleep, burned, confused, paralyzed, and poisoned. And the cards I have in my hand each demonstrate these special conditions. <laughs> Um, all of them are mutually exclusive except for poison and burned. That means that Pokemon can have two conditions when they are poisoned and burned. They can be poisoned and asleep, that type of thing. Um, to remove special conditions from a Pokemon, um, you can retreat them to the bench. Um, you can evolve a Pokemon or use a specific attack or trainer card. Uh, such as a double full heal that would remove the special condition. Also, special, addition, special conditions stop the majority of Poke Powers, but they don't affect Poke Bodies at all. So I'm going to talk about the five special conditions now. I'm going to start with a sleep. As you can see, the Spoink card here, it's Move Sleep Pearl. It says the defending Pokemon is now asleep. Switch Spoink with one of your bench Pokemon. But what matters is that the defending Pokemon is now asleep. So if you're asleep during a trading card game, um, you can't attack or retreat uh, by itself. If you try to do anything, you have to flip a coin. If it's heads, the Pokemon wakes up. And if it's tails, um, the Pokemon stays asleep and can't do anything. So even if you try to re uh, retreat it to the bench, you still have to flip a coin. And when a Pokemon is asleep in the trading card game, you want to rotate it, turn it to the side, and you do that counterclockwise. So you turn a card like this to indicate that it's asleep in the game. The next special effect I'm going to talk about is the burned effect. This is actually the newest special condition in the trading card game. What happens when you're burned? Well, I'll just talk about here. Uh, Searing Flame on Mag Cargo just says the defending Pokemon is now burned. Um, plus, it does a 20 damage. But when a Pokemon is burned, um, what you do is you place a burn marker on it, which you get in any of the pre-made theme decks that, I'll be, that I'm reviewing. And you just put it on there. And then between each turn, a player must slip a coin. If the coin lands on tails, you have to put two damage counters on that Pokemon. If it's heads, the Pokemon doesn't receive any damage, but it's still burned. Um, even if you don't even if you don't get a tails. So the only way to get that burn special condition off would like I was talking about earlier would be use a, a card to get a card's move or a trainer card or evolve it or retreat it to the bench. The next special edition, special condition I'm going to talk about is confusion. Now, to indicate confused, you have to turn it upside down, like, like this in play. And as you can see, um, Kangaskong here has a move that's called Split Spiral Punch that says the defending Pokemon is now confused. And when you're confused, um, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, or if you're confused and you try to attack, you have to flip a coin, and if the coin is heads, the attack just proceeds as normal. But if it's tails, you have to place three damage counters on uh, the Pokemon that you tried to attack with that it was confused. And also, um, it stays confused, I believe. Yep, it stays confused unless retreat or other action is taken. And then the next special condition I'm going to talk about is paralysis or uh, be paralyzed as you can see on Scorpy has a move called paralyzing clamp this move uh, says flip a coin if tails this attack does nothing if heads defending Pokemon is now paralyzed now when you're paralyzed um, the Pokemon will be unable to attack or retreat for one turn after it becomes paralyzed and after that of each turn the Pokemon's condition returns to normal and when it's paralyzed, you turn a, poke, a card clockwise, just like this. So basically what uh, paralysis does is it just makes the Pokemon unable to do anything for one turn. And the last special condition there is, is poison. This is a muck card. It's actually from the fossil set, but this one's out of legendary. As you can see, it has sludge. And this says, flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now poison. Now poison has a poison counter you put on there. And it's when a Pokemon is poisoned, you have to put one damage counter on between each turns. Now, some Pokemons have a special condition where 
between each turn you have to place two, three, or even four damage counters on per turn. So depending on the card you just have to read the description to determine how many damage counters you have to put on per turn. So I hope this helped you out um, understanding the special conditions in the Pokemon trading card game. If you have any questions or comments make sure to comment below and I'll try to get back to you. Make sure you check out all my other videos and also I'd like you to check out my blog link. I have a link to the underbar I have a link in the underbar below where I do Pokemon card reviews every day and I do weekly polls. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.